Olen and Lera racing away no diggity a little bit awkward to stride away and so too slow out there was fast flow eastern star has broken best under molly phillips in this seven furlong journey for the univet horse race betting operator of the year classified stakes eastern star leads in those yellow and red silks from the veteran shamshon in second the light blue silks the secret tryst in third a little wider out is chloe ellie then came elegant helen followed on the inside by the pink and blue diamonds at six o'clock swill it's then two lengths away to river chorus who's racing together with factor fable nadja is wider out in those red and white stripes then more back to the inside fast flow followed by axel jacqueline and behind axel jacqueline is no diggity in christine's angel she's last of all just before the top of the home run around that bend for home then and eastern star continues to lead the way from Shanshan towards the outside of Secret Tryst, they're second and third. Then six o'clock swell on the inside, followed by the pushed along Elegant Helen River Chorus is under pressure. So T. Cloelli, no diggity, trying to stay on from the back as Eastern Star will lead them inside the final furlong and a half from Shantron between the leading trio. Out wider, Elegant Ellen is coming home well under Adam Farrer. River Chorus also looking to pitch up late in the piece, but out in front it's Elegant Ellen is coming home best of all, and Elegant Ellen will go on to win the opener. Elegant Ellen has taken it, Eastern Star and Shantron are tied for second and third behind those fast flow in four. And they're off, racing away, seven furlongs the journey for the trial new price boost at Unibet Phillies Handicap Stakes. Queen of Burgundy brought across toward the inside to show prominently early on under Frederick Larson. Pacing up there to the outside is Social Contact in the yellow under Clifford Lee. And these now race on a length or so to Angel Amadea, the black silks racing to the inside of the light blue and pink of Piffles rider Tom Markan. Further back to Rufo, looking for that third win over track and distance tonight. And at the back of the field is Ariel under Dylan Hogan. Racing then towards the final half a mile. It's Queen of Burgundy, who finished third in this corresponding race last year. And now shows in front by about a neck. Two in second, social contact. A further length away to the inside, Angel Amadea. Fourth on the bend towards home is Piffle. Then Rufal is covered up at the moment, second to last. Ariel is now a nudged along back marker. Up the home run they travel. Queen of Burgundy out in front. Leads by length over the black jacketed Angel Amadea. It's opened up beautifully on the inside for Rufal at the cutaway point. He comes there absolutely cruising. And Rufal's moved into the lead now. Piffle makes ground up into second place now. Angel Amadea back in third. Queen of Burgundy weakens into fourth. It's Rufal under Charlie Bishop. Three lengths in hand here from Piffle in second. Angel Amadea back in third. And it's a third win over track and distance for Rufal. Rufal has beaten Piffle. Angel Amadea was back in third, then Ariel, social contact, and last home, Queen of Burgundy. And they're off, racing away. One mile is the journey for the Unibet supports at Safe Gambling Restricted Maiden Stakes. And well into stride was Kara Coy. 
towards the inside in purple and yellow diamond shown prominently. Also up there is gold kit on debut in the brown silks and from that wide posting acclaimed art who was quite nicely back beforehand now has very much a prominent role as well and acclaimed art has now edged it from Karakoi. Koto Paxi Moon is right up, up with the early tempo as well racing in a handy second. Just in behind them now, Gold Kid and Karakoi. A further length back to memory to the inside in the grey and yellow silks, followed into the bend then by Exquisite Beauty and Saratoga Spirit. Behind those two is Sapadine and then Cherwell. Another couple of lengths back to the green and white of Cara May. On that one's inside is Lexington Hero in the maroon and white colours. Tables turned is second to last and a little detached at the back of the field is debutant Papal Music. The field has seen to be turning the way back towards zone, just over three furlongs left to go. And acclaimed art on the front end. Leads it by about a length over the inside running Karakoi. Kota Paxi Moon just in behind, now being nudged along to the outside goal kit, trying to come up with something, racing in a little bit green the filly, then came behind those Membry. A couple of lengths in back to Saratoga Spirit. The race now inside the final furlong and a half. Karakoi from acclaimed art who's shaken up goal kit. Asked for more. Kota Paxi Moon back in fourth and a bit one pace at the moment. A trio go on inside the final furlong goal kit to the outside of acclaimed art over on the far running run is Karakoi it's acclaimed art just ahead now from goal kit on the run to the finish acclaimed art goal kit acclaimed art and goal kit in the close call then came Karahoy they finished clear from tables turned and Lexington hero and then the disappointing Kodapaxi Moon They're off, racing away for the Unibet Extra Place that offers every day a handicapper qualifier in the London Mile Series. Well into stride and the black and orange is spells at dawn. Yazinkso is handily positioned as well. The two shades of green with the yellow cap trying to drop in toward the inside. But at the moment, Asda just toward that one there with Crystal Cass quite close up. So he said he's next. And then came Billy Mill in those pink sleeves and cap. The light blue colours to the inside is New Shepherd. Further back is C-Set Councils really pulling very hard at the back of the field. Just in behind Sense of Worth currently in those blue and orange colours. More toward the inside is Morkeb. Further back there in the black and red stripes is Tiger Beetle and George Morland in pink and black under Freddie Larson is the bat marker. They're about to race then through halfway and it spells at Dawn who leads from Yazinkso and Crystal Cask and then Asdar in fourth. Fifth toward the inside is New Shepherd and then came May Knight in the green sleeves and cap. Billy Mill and C set are the next two. Then Sense of Worth followed by Morkeb and Tiger Beetle. Council is still towards the back of the field with George Morland as they make their way towards the cutaway point. Ridden for more in front now spells at dawn. Yazinkso looms up a big threat. Red Cap the far side. Crystal Cask every chance. Then New Shepherd. Billy Mill trying to run on. May Knight trying to get going again. Spells at dawn. Drops away. Crystal Cask and Yazinkso now in the first two positions. May Knight finishing well. Then Asdar Sense of Worth and then Billy Mill and New Shepherd. But it's Crystal Cask and Oliver Surley's out in front from May Knight. It's Crystal Cast from May Knight near to the line. Crystal Cast from May Knight. Then came Billy Mill and Sense of Worth just ahead then of Yuzinkso and Asda.
and they're off. Racing away for tonight's feature, the £25,000 Class 2 Unibet 3 Unibooster Day Handicap Stakes over a mile and three furlongs in the two shades of blue. It's Pride of America that goes out there early on by an early couple of lengths margin as well. From in second, Capital Theory, that bright green jacket towards the outside of the Violet Silks is State Legend. More towards the running rail then in the checks of Scarlet and Mauve is Ziggy under Danny Musket. Hotly fancied Ziggy in this race, going off at a shade of odds on. Vizier towards the outside then of Melek Auri, the green and red silks. Then Sky Defender in those grey and brown colours toward the inside. First start for David O'Mara's team this evening. And the back marker in yellow and black, Callum Shepherd on board, King of the South, as they race on down the far side. And the leader going now further clear, Pride of America, best part of half a dozen lengths in front. Over Capital Theory is racing in second. Third just state legend, Ziggy, is in fourth. Then Melek Auri a further couple of lengths away together with Vizier. Next on the inside is Sky Defender. And then came King of the South. The leader's in front by the best part of eight lengths. And that is Pride of America. Setting a pretty decent tempo down the far side for the others to chase. Capital Theory is racing in second at the far turn. Ziggy is back in third. Then came State Legend and Melek Auri under Adam Faraha. As the leader begins to go by that four pole, well on top at the moment. Pride of America, best part of ten lengths in front to Capital Theory in second. Maybe a bit more than ten lengths now as they race towards the final three furlongs. It's Pride of America making a bold bid under Tom Marquand. Well on top at the moment. The others now looking to get pursued. Capital Theory ridden along in second. Ziggy is back in third. Then Melek Auri. State legend ridden for more. Then King of the South and Vizier as the lead is already at the cutaway point and still well on top. Pride of America. Ten lengths ahead from Capital Theory in second. Then Ziggy to the outside. Melek Auri to the inside of those two trying to finish off. Now starting to paddle in front. Pride of America still with a handy lead in Inside the final furlong, Capital Theory has closed the gaps within five legs for Pride of America. A great ride from the front from Tom Marquand. Pride of America makes all to beat Capital Theory. Ziggy third, then Melakau Re, followed by King of the South. And they're off. Racing into stride, six furlongs for the Unibet Extra Place offers every day Phillies handicap stakes. Well up there early on is Cool Lightning, looking to press over toward the running rail to show the way from Rogue Missile. King to the outside in the green is Sharon McCready. And now pressing the pace, Sharon McCready puts it up to Cool Lightning and goes on, making a length and a half lead. Kensington agent behind the principal pairing in third, Rogue Missile now settles down in fourth. Blue Jackie with the red cap next is Camer Chester, then Star Song and Annie Gale is at the back of the field. They're racing towards the top of the home straight, about to go through halfway, and Sharon McCready is on the front end. Leads by just over a length to the inside running Cool Lightning. Kensington agent poised toward the outer. Couple of lengths then back to find Rogue Missile. Now looking to move into it is Star Song at the cutaway point. The noseband over toward the far side, then Camer Chess and Annie Gale. Kensington agent has now got the advantage heading towards the final furlong for Sharon McCready. Rogue Missile producing down the outside in the red toward the inside is Star Song then Kamachess very deep out Kensington agent needs a line Rogue Missile is coming home strongly along with Star Song they hit the line Rogue Missile got there Rogue Missile up in time to beat Kensington agent and then over on the far side Star Song in third fourth was Kamachess
ready to go and they're off racing away just about a lap and a half on the poly track here at Kempton for this concluding two mile journey and the every race live on racing TV handicap stakes getting through the opening furlong prominent fighting poet who's nicely back beforehand looping around the field though Chen Gong coming out of stall 11 to clear them and show in front at the corner so Chen Gong goes on in the visor first time under Trevor Whelan leading from Swaffen Ballbeck who's black with a yellow star for Cam Hardy in second fighting poet positioned on the inside in third from a little wider Ballet Blanc the filly blue and yellow silk there for George Rook next in fifth is the mayor Tibby Dunbar to the outside of abstract they're traveling together as they straighten for the first time race the one is next toward the outside of the dark green jacketed Bruce Clutterbuck on board I say a little prayer the back two markers are gold Souk, together with presuming Ed has been in action over fences over jumps in the current season it's Chen Gong who leads Chen Gong out in front in that white jacket leading up by about a length or so to soften ball back who's racing in second it's a three-way tie for third at the moment improvement round the outside here from presuming Ed taking much closer order as we're about to run by us with a lap to go so Chen Gong nearly joined now by presuming Ed as they work by us this time back in third is soften ball back followed another length away by a ballet blanc in those blue and yellow silks to the inside fighting poet then came abstract and Tibby Dunbar another couple away then to I say a little prayer with raised the one towards her outside and at the back of the pack now is Gold Souk under William Cox about to go through halfway and it's Chen Gong who has the lead Chen Gong shows by just over a length to presuming Ed another length and a half away to Swaffen Ballbeck who is in third place straightening down the far side Fourth at the moment is Fighting Poet under Danny Musket. Behind Fighting Poet is Ballet Blanc. Then Abstract, one length away to Tibby Dunbar. Further length and a half back to I Say a Little Prayer. Raised to one. And then came Gold Suit. Not too many changes in the order. Most significant move has been made by Presuming Eddie. Went from the back of the field to sit in second place. Behind Chen Gong has made all the running so far. Chen Gong from Presuming Ed. Fighting Poets in third. Soften ball back is back in fourth. Then Ballet Blanc and Abstract. Tibby Dunbar behind those couple of runners. Then raised the one. Still further back there is I Say a Little Prayer. And as they begin to turn out of the back straight, there's probably about 10 lengths leader to last. The back marker remaining Gold Souk as Chen Gong leads them inside the final half a mile. Chen Gong from Presuming Ed. Fighting Poets in third. Swap and ball back in fourth. Ballet Blanc to the outside of those couple of runners. Then came Tibby Dunbar and Abstract. Razor One now shaken up. Then I say a little prayer and Gold Souk last on the turn towards home as they make their way towards the final quarter mile at the cutaway. Chen Gong in the white jacket. Black and yellow off and ball back wide right ballet blanc in the blue and yellow tibby dunbar now begins to get rolling in black and red then fighting poet and abstract they're racing towards the final furlong down the center swap and ball back between them is tibby dunbar chen gong is battling away over on the far side tibby dunbar has put her head in front now she goes on by a length to swap and ball back then chen gong and the running on i say a little prayer is up towards the line it's tibby dunbar's race tibby dunbar TB Dunbar home in front from Swap and Ballback, then Chen Gong, and I say a little prayer ahead of abstracts.